Okay guys, for today's DIY project, we're going to need a mason jar, we're going to need a glue gun, and of course glue for the glue gun, razor, and the light fixture. This is a clamp light, but I'll leave all the links in the description for all of this included. And a light lampshade is optional. Okay guys, so you want to take your mason jar and the lid that it comes with, unscrew that, and you want to cut a hole that fits perfectly with the light fixture top. And then you want to sit it in, kind of the cord like that, and cut around the side so that the cord can come and stick back out through. So here we go. It's better to keep the lid on, I think it's a lot easier. So it's almost done. Flip it around to get through the last part. Trial and error, I guess. <laughs> Okay guys, I finally got that. Try it real quick. And you're gonna have to thread it through the bottom. recommend putting the lid in like that first. Sticking this through with the cord. Just enough like that. Putting it in, screwing it back. And, hey guys, so it should look like this after you're done. You'll probably want to fill it up with um, some stuff to weigh it down. I will do that and then be back. Okay guys, once you have this, I found that coins work the best, so I'm gonna take it off and fill it up with coins right now. You want it to be something that weighs it down, but I thought coins looked the coolest. On the side here I have my hot glue gun warming up so that we can do the final little bits of it. Okay guys, once you get this get to sit in here. Take it, face it back up. Got my coins in here at the bottom. Screw that on tight. Should look like this. You want the part to turn the light on and off to be right there. And now we have.
have to do the gluing part. So on the outside, as you can see, there are spaces around there. I just need to fill the spaces all the way around with glue to hold it and just make sure that this doesn't get glue on it so you can switch it on and off. And that's what I'm about to do right now. Alright, I got it started. Here we go. Just work it around the outside. Get up enough to hold it in. You want to put a lot right near where the hole is for the cord to come back out unless you have a cord that can actually stick out that's not coming from the bottom for mine. If you find a cord lamp fixture that comes out the side instead of the bottom that would work a lot better. But I mean this still works. Okay, so once it's dried, you should have all the glue around it. You just want to peel off the little spider webs it made and test it to make sure it holds in place. And it is. So what you want to do is try it out and see if it works. Okay guys, we have it all plugged in, all set up, just put your light bulb on there, look at that, have yourself a DIY light fixture that turns on and off, secure, and looks really neat. Okay guys, this is what it looks like with a regular bulb and a lampshade on it. Well, it's a little too big for it, but yeah.